just to watch this one more time, like I say, he tries to press him, but the fact that he runs around that, but you can see he's still, you know, wide open after about 10 yards. I mean, I could throw this ball at any point in time once he gets around this receiver, making this one of the glitchier plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always, got another explosive passing play for you guys today. This is something that is kind of going around right now. It's one of the new metas in Madden 22. The playbook that I'm in today is the Rams. I haven't done a lot out of this playbook, but I did say in a previous video, when I redid my top five uh, playbooks video, my top five offensive playbooks video uh, a couple of months back, I had the Rams in there because it's really been one of my favorite playbooks for a very long time. I love pretty much every single single back set that they have, uh, and I can pretty much do an offense at just about any formation that this entire playbook has so if you guys would like to see more from the rams more offenses or more from Woo! this offense or just more from this in general hit the like button let me know in the comment section because i know a lot of people are switching over to that the formation that i'm going to be in today is the gun type flex like i said this is something that's going around as one of the best plays in the game the play itself is going to be the pa post shot now the second best play on this is probably the double spot this is something you use against just about any single defense and probably the next best play coming off of that is going to be either the cross or the mesh spot me personally i'm probably gonna go with the mesh spot oh now let's go and let's pick the pa post shot and on the defensive side we're gonna go we're gonna match with nickel but we're gonna start off with tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoh.com if you guys want to get your money team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be a juice going to the market a lot of people ask me when i do these one play touchdown videos they ask for plays that are more like dink and dunk offenses and this play already has that if you want that you don't have to make any adjustments at all i mean the drag route the b route even the y route which is probably my one of my favorite routes in the game right now you can see how that route will get open a lot of times although i didn't get a very good animation there i gotta cut that like frozen in the air animation but you have a very good series of uh check downs built in to this play already like the tight end coming across the the b route all these uh crossing routes are going to get open against you know most defenses at certain points on the play now the setup for this play should look pretty familiar because it's going to be pretty uh similar to something that i put out recently from a different formation i'm not saying that i originated this setup but it's a very uh, meta setup right now where essentially you just put the y route here on a streak and then you also need to put the running back on a wheel route now obviously this is going to really cut down on your pass pro i don't typically like to do this particular setup uh you pretty much need to have a mobile quarterback that can run around in the backfield to make this work but i'm going to try to do this in practice mode anyway uh but this is going to be pretty much be it now the y route here will be uh just the route pulling receivers back and the x route will pretty much be the route that's the one play touchdown against just about every single defense now there i probably threw a little bit early i did that because i don't really have a quarterback that can move that's kind of important when it comes to running this i mean that is the meta as well uh but ultimately you can see i mean i can get over the top of that cover two safety with this setup which is the most important thing now against cover two you don't really need the running back you can pass block the running back this is something that you can have success with without giving that up as you can see i mean it's really gonna you know still get open 
open against cover two, but that's not going to be the case against something like a cover three. If I go to the replay, you'll see the reason this play has success is because the safeties react differently. Typically, the safeties cover their deep half. They split that field in half. Uh, and there's no real deep routes on the right side compared to the left side. On the left side, you can see we got deep routes on the right side. You can see we got shallow routes. So that safety just kind of lags off a little bit, reacting to those deep crossers. And that gives it just enough time for this route to get over the top and be a one-play touchdown. We'll have the same effect against cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that. Cover two man, same setup, maybe even easier than cover two, although I forgot to take off the, uh, the play action. But you can see, same effect. We get over the top. Not quite as gone as I'd like to be. I mean, I like a little bit more speed, but Odell gets the job done. Now against cover three, the setup is a little bit more particular. You pretty much have to do the running back. So we'll go and we'll pick cover three sky. Now against cover three, there's no way around it. You need that wheel route. The wheel route is one of the best things when it comes to holding down cover three cornerbacks. And it's essential when it comes to beating this play for one play touchdown against cover three. So same setup. Put that Y route on a streak. Get that running back on a wheel route. Give yourself a little bit of time and make sure that you have a strong arm quarterback because I'm dropping back since I can't roll out. And you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown against cover three. The reason that happens is because the wheel route would be open if he committed to the Y route. If you watch, the wheel route really gets into his area about the time that he wants to sprint away and take off. And that's why it's so such a glitchy play. What makes this play so glitchy is the timing of the two routes. He does react to the crossing receiver, but if he does commit to that, the running back would be open right underneath him anyway. So he really doesn't have a choice. One of these two routes is going to get open. So that's a pretty consistent setup, whether you're looking at any cover two or cover three. But there is a couple of different setups you could do when it comes to cover one or cover four. So let's go and let's pick that play one more time. We're going to start off. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do some man coverages first. We're going to go with cover one hole. Now, the reason I'm changing gears here is really simple. Um, the you know Cover one, cover four, like I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Uh, we're going to attack a different route. We're going to address this very differently because the, the route, to me, that's going to work best against these shared defenses is going to be the Y route. And this is another thing that I've put out recently, um, you know, in the past. This is something that, uh, you know, I, I've talked about how the Y route is one of the glitchy routes in the game right now when it comes to a lot of these different things. And you're going to see here how this is going to be a much better route when it comes to beating uh, man coverage than the other route that we were attacking before. Now, I could put the X route on a streak just to pull that safety back, which I did not do there. That will help. Uh, Cooper Cup here is one of the best receivers in the game as far as route running, but he's not necessarily fast enough for this to be a one-play touchdown, I don't think. I know Cooper Cup's one of the best players in the game, but speed is what wins in Madden, and he is he might not be fast enough. He, he'll probably have a better release, probably get better separation, stuff like that, but I don't know if he's going to be quite fast enough to get going from anyone on the field like maybe a backup receiver like Tutu Atwell will be, but you can see he scores there. Now, that's not to say that the original setup wouldn't work, Block, or the running back still want to put him on a block, but if I streak the Y route, a lot of times the X route will have success uh, depending on you know how big of an advantage you have as far as speed and stuff like that. So that route still can get going. I just find the other route's a little bit better. Now when it comes to something like a cover four, that's completely different. Uh, cover four um, is something where we're going to have to switch routes. So let's go and let's pick the cover four drop. This here, you definitely have to switch routes. You don't have to make any adjustments though. This is a natural one play touchdown against cover four to that exact same route. Hopefully, uh, Cooper Cup, I mean, like I said, speed's a little bit of an issue. As you can see, he gets past the cornerback there, but not quite as much as I'm used to. Like I said, typically when I use faster receivers, this route here will be a couple yards down the field. I actually had to hold the ball a little bit longer, but you can see how he gets behind the cornerback, uh, which is really the plan. So the route, for whatever reason, I don't know why this particular route does this, but it always gets behind this cover for a cornerback, and typically for a one-play touchdown. Ideally, you want to use a faster receiver for a play like this, but you can see how my boy does get over the top. Uh, he typically gets outside of it. You know, I don't want to switch over because I want to be consistent, but you can see it's a, it's a play that is capable of a one-play touchdown. And then last but not least, we have the other cover four, which is a cover four match. We'll go ahead and we'll switch over to that. Same thing, no real setup needed. The Y route, once again, will be the big play. This is essentially like a man-matching principle. You can see how Cooper Cup and the same route is going to be the same play. Uh, no adjustments. Cover four, regular or match, and cover one. They're all going to be the exact same where you don't have to make any adjustments on the play at all. Now, the second best play on this is probably the double spot. This is something you use against just about any single defense. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random. So all we really have to do, I mean, we have our corner routes, which is probably going to be one of the better routes in the entire game. We just have to dress up our, our audibles 
around it. On the right side, we're just going to put the B route on a streak. On the left side, we're just going to put them on either an out route or sometimes you can go with a flat route. I prefer the out route. I think that's probably the better way to go. Gives you kind of like a bench switch concept, which is pretty much what I want to go with. Uh, but you want to split the field and have pre-snap because you pretty much have the same thing on both sides. Uh, we have a high low route. One side you have the X route and the Y route. The other side you have the A route and the running back. The running back is probably going to be one of the best routes against like cover threes, cover fours, anything where the cornerback drops back. You can just steal that all game, throw it to the running back. That's one of my favorite things to do. That's what a lot of people do. If you have a man coverage, sometimes the running back can even beat that out into the flat. It is possible. It does happen quite a bit, although there didn't work out. The best man coverage routes are probably going to be on the left side, though, there. That's what we had. We had a man coverage. I went to the Y route. If you look at the Y route and the... Um, the A route. They look the same, but there is an additional break on what the Y route is doing compared to what the A route is doing. The A route is a more traditional uh, corner route, but to, without a doubt, the running back side is probably my favorite side. Here looks like we have another man coverage. Uh, we also have, because it's, you know, it's a linebacker covering that receiver, making it that much easier. But ultimately, if I came out like a dime package or something like that, might be a slightly different effect. Here, I'm not sure what we're going to have. Looks like we might have a cover three. Although there we have another man coverage, and we still beat that linebacker once again. So, uh, you know, that's something that uh, really depends on the coverage as well. Now, the X route, if it is a man coverage, the X route is definitely going to be a better route. Here, because, like I said, you got to watch that streak is going to pull back anything. That looked like it was a cover three or a cover four. The streak will always pull back whatever coverage we have. Looks like we're probably going to have a man blitz here. Like I said, this X route here, very good check down when it comes to man coverage. I also like to put him in a zig route sometimes. Like I said, this is something where, um, you know, that's that's a definite man beater. Like the, the out route's good, but the zig route is even better. And here we can see we don't have a man coverage, but the Y route will still have success. I mean, this is a play where, you know, the bench switch concept is one of the best concepts in the game. It's been that way for a very long time. And probably the next best play coming off of that is going to be either the cross or the mesh spot. Me personally, I'm probably going to go with the mesh spot. That's something that you see out of a lot of different formations. Let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to roll random again. This entire offense is hard to stop because it's very, they're all pretty similar. I mean, this particular play, all I'm going to do and all I typically do is put the B route on a streak. But you can leave him doing what he's doing. It's a really good check down. The running back, a lot of people like to run this offense because you can throw it to the running back. But that comeback route is a very good play. So you really have to choose whether you want to go to the streak or not. There's a lot of one-play touchdowns that can be had with this particular play as well. A lot of times I'll motion out the running back to get some uh, more explosive looks. Uh, but ultimately, this is something where, like I said right here, you can see the running back goes down the flat, uncover right away. Like, there's a lot of routes that are very hard to stop. And we didn't even really get to the most important routes. The most important routes on this play are going to be the drags. So ultimately, you know, when you run double drags, these checkdowns are pretty much always open for some nice, easy catch and runs. So the first play was mostly throws to the outside. This is going to be something where you're really attacking the middle more, uh, making this particular play, um, you know, a really good play off of that. As you can see, once again, the linebackers move because of the uh, the drags. You have this route coming open right over the middle, and you don't really need to make any adjustments on a play like this. There are some coverage-specific things that you can do, though, uh, things like against cover two. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play again if I can find it, the mesh spot. On the defense side, we're going to pick Tampa two. Now, this is something you can probably do against, you know, with just about any play in this formation. Put the B route on a streak, put the RB route on a wheel route, and then motion them to the line of scrimmage. That's all you really have to do. Um, you'll still have good check down with the other, you know, with the, with the drags. But the RB route here is going to get open uh, outside the safety and above the cornerback. You can see it's a very easy play. The cross play is probably one of the better plays on here as well because of that wheel route. So let's go and let's pick that. We'll continue with Tampa 2. The cross, though, is a slightly better uh, wheel route in my my opinion this particular route uh, is better than the adjustment and the stop version as you'll see here I mean he basically just gets up the field much faster and at a much better angle although I had to throw that ball a little bit quick so if you're gonna do this setup it's really best to do it from the cross play because it's just it's just the perfect uh, route and you can see I really have it on both sides like I could put the Y route on a streak and do it on that side too but ultimately um, you know and if I did do that then I would also have a little bit more blocking but you can see how the running back can do that with very easy success this play is probably best run from a hash mark to the open side of the field putting the Y route on a streak and then blocking your running back this is something where you're gonna have a couple of really good check downs but you'll have a lot of success to this particular route outside of a lot of cover two defenses although there I kind of ran out of bounds but you can see how this play is gonna be successful it's the same principles 
Uh, it's going to be even better against cover two man though. As you can see right here, the timing of the throw is really important, especially when you have a superstar safety out there. You really have to throw it basically when the corner when he's parallel with the cornerback. This play is very timing heavy when it comes to when to throw the ball because these cornerbacks in cover two a lot of times won't they won't flip their hips. They'll drop back on this receiver, but they won't flip their hips because they really have to react to the drag coming underneath. So at that point, you really just have to wait uh, till he's parallel with that cornerback. As you can see, I'm throwing right about the time that he's uh, parallel with him because he won't. I know that he won't flip his hips and run with the receiver. If you throw the ball too early, he will, and if you throw it too late, the safety will have a shot at it. Go ahead and I'll throw this ball early, but you can see he still really didn't uh, flip his hips and react to the throw. So just make sure he's in the uh, general area when you throw it. This play is especially good against man cover two, though. So let's go and let's pick that. On defense, we'll pick man cover two. This is really glitchy against cover two man because this wheel route really can't get pressed. If I motion him out, it basically brings that cornerback down into a pressing motion, and that's really just going to set the trap. So once again, same setup. Block the running up, put the wire out on a streak. You're going to see once he gets around uh, this cornerback, you can throw it at pretty much any time, and it's going to be a very big play. Like I said, once again, superstar safety out there. You can see that it works out, and you know the cornerback actually did a really good job of recovering. I've seen way worse recoveries, as he's actually still kind of right in his pocket. But you can see how he gets over the top of that, and you can be going for one play touchdown if you have a real speed advantage. But just to watch this one more time, like I said, he tries to press him, but the fact that he runs around that, I mean, I don't know who that cornerback is, but yeah, Waynes. Trey Waynes is super fast. That's the reason he's keeping up with it. But you can see he's still, you know, wide open after about 10 yards. I mean, I could throw this ball at any point in time once he gets around this receiver. So that's pretty much it. Those are pretty much the only three plays you need. The post shots, your one play touchdown. The double spot's probably the most consistent dink and dunk play. Uh, and then you also have the uh, the cross and the mesh spot. So you can really attack all center, all areas of the field with just those three additional plays. Uh, and you really have a very explosive offense. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this particular uh, formation or really more from this particular playbook, because I do still have a lot of really good plays to come, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.